Well, uh, Mediview Alpaca Farm was established back in 2003, and we have, as you can see, we have quite a few alpacas. And there's a lot of activity that goes on on the farm here. Uh, in the summertime, of course, we in the springtime, excuse me, we get involved in shearing activities, and we have a lot of babies born. Uh, we just had a baby born within the last hour. We just had a new baby. Sarah Lee just had a little girl. This little one is probably not an hour old. She's still wet, but they're up quickly, and they're nursing from mom usually within an hour. And then once we've done the shearing, what we do is we take the fiber and we turn it into end products. And uh, we sell a lot of those products. Um, we have, we're open to the public uh, on many occasions. We ask that people call and come for an appointment. We do group visits. We've had school tours in the last couple of weeks. And we get the children in. Uh, we have a classroom in the barn and we actually bring them in and we talk to them about alpacas and get them to know a little bit about alpacas and, and the, uh, the vocabulary that's associated with it. For instance, the babies are called Kriyas. And then we bring them down to the field and they get to meet them and they get to hand feed them and they get to mix with them and they get to really enjoy their company. We've gone from uh, basically nine alpacas eight years ago to 125 and having daily births every day, like this little one that's just been born. So it's a fairly busy place, there's always something going on. And in, uh, in Ontario, probably the farm that sells the most product uh, in, in the province. Maybe not in Canada, we can't claim that, but we're doing, uh, our products are very popular, they're just pretty good stuff. We actually sell the products in a variety of ways. Uh, we go to the farmer's market, market in Deborah, the Johnson Township Farmer's Market in the summertime. In the wintertime, after Thanksgiving weekend, we move to the Wellington Square Mall where we participate in the Algoma Winter Farmer's Market. And I'm there until about the beginning of April. Uh, besides that, we participate in community events. Uh, we participate in shows, we in do a lot of fairs. fairs. We, do, we do fairs. So we go to uh, quite a variety of venues and we have a lot of people who come here to the farm they come visit the animals and then we have uh, we have a lot of our products set up in a special area in the house and um, and we sell them right out of the house yeah they come for a farm visit and you essentially you spend a little bit of time with the alpacas uh, de-stress and walk amongst the alpacas and feed them and then afterwards they pick up a pair of socks and everybody goes home very happy these are just ideal animals because all you do is share them every year and they provide the fiber year after year so it's just a perfect mix for what we wanted to do. We don't have to send them off to the abattoir yeah. so we were very happy with that. But uh, in the beginning of course this was only going to be a hobby farm and we now call it our hobby farm gone wild because we've gone from nine animals to 122 animals in eight years. On Sunday, July 10th, from uh, 11 o'clock until 4 o'clock, we, we are hosting our annual Fiber Fest. At Fiber Fest, we have quite a few things going on. Uh, lots of fun for the whole family. We do shearing demonstrations. So we have two alpacas that did not were not shorn uh, on our shearing weekends. And uh, so we will demonstrate how we do the shearing. We'll demonstrate our new hydraulic table. And then we take the fiber from the animal to the skirting table, and I demonstrate what we do with it, how we do the skirting, and then how we prepare it for the mill. We get, people are people are familiar with Medivue Alpaca Farm now, and um, if they have a community event or a special show or something going on, they often will contact us. Uh, they can either go online and get the contact information. Uh, we're at medivuealpacafarm.com, or the phone number is 705-785-3389. If you're interested in learning more about alpacas or the whole shearing process, make sure to come out to Metalview Alpaca Farms on Sunday, July 10th for Fiber Fest. For Shaw TV, I'm Christian LeMay.